my name is Emma and I'm back. I hope you guys liked my week of VEDA. It was really fun. I had a good time doing it. I made lots of videos that interest me and were exciting and it was sort of my week to explore kind of outside the realms of booktube and I really enjoyed it. Although I think I'm gonna probably stick more to book videos just because they're easier to make and I want to talk about books more than I want to talk about anything else but occasionally you'll have moments where I do other things and I hope that's okay with you all. Um, I mean it doesn't have to be because I'm going to do it anyway, but whatever. Anyway, so this video though is going to be a reading roundup wrap up video and like a currently reading video because I haven't done one of these in a while and I have read quite a few things since my last video so we can delve right into it. Um, the first book I want to talk about is Big Little Lies by Lane Moriarty which I don't have with me, but um, I read this, gosh, in like February before the TV show came out, and I really, really loved it. I'm sure you know what Big Little Lies is about, but it's about these three women who become involved with each other and inter interact with each other's lives and their friends, and sort of, it's a murder mystery, but it's also just about these very complicated human-female relationships and these complicated human women, which is so hard to find in fiction. Um, I had some misconceptions going into this book. I thought it was going to be really kind of like silly and sort of trivial, which completely goes into the sexist patriarchal view that like women's fiction is lesser than. But this is one of like the best books I've read in a really long time um, because of the way it deals with like female humanity and the television show, the miniseries on HBO, which I'm sure you guys have seen, is absolutely perfection. It's one of the best adaptations I've ever seen. It, I think it was even better than the book just because they, um, the acting was so full and wonderful and it was just fantastic and I really 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 liked Big Little Lies so much. Um, shout out to Raylene from Padfoot and Proxo 7 for being like, Emma, hey, or well she was like, I'm reading this and I was like, is it good? And she was like, yeah. Anyway, great 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 awesome. Next is An Age of License, a travel log. Um, this is by Lucy Nicely. If you didn't know, I have all of Lucy Nicely's books that are currently out and I've been making my way through them just sort of as a pick-me-up whenever I want to read something kind of just nice and light and adorable and Age of License is an amazing travel log about the time that she went around Europe and it was just beautiful. It made me feel lots of feelings like I'm kind of an inspiring illustrator and a comic artist. I do not have the same training that Lucy Nicely has at all, but I just find so much inspiration in her work and her style, but also in her ability to just capture like human emotions so well and her own emotions so well. I really like this book in particular with how she deals with like heartbreak and getting over heartbreak and sort of a new relationship or this this Thing that she has with this guy and I just think it's excellent and wonderful and my favorite so far and I'm looking forward to reading the last two that I have by her which is um I can't remember one of them one of them is called something and the other one is something new which is about her wedding but yeah I'm very very excited um next we have a study in Charlotte um by Brittany Caviero Cavalero probably saying that name wrong um oh man this is really cute this is a modern sort of retelling but kind of not of Sherlock Holmes but um, it's really more of a continuation as if Sherlock Holmes and John Watson were real people and these are their grand great grandkids um, Charlotte Holmes descendant of Sherlock Holmes and Jamie Watson descendant of, descendant of John Watson and they sort of come together at this boarding school and there's a murder and they have to figure it out and deal with all the implications. Another really great portrayal of a female character in Charlotte Holmes. I thought it was really excellent. She's very complicated and interesting and has lots of things going on in her life that are unexpected. Um, and I just really, really liked it. It's pure like fun and fantasy, but it's it's really great and I really, really enjoyed it. Next I read Bright Lines by Tani Nandani Islam. Um, I looked up her name a few times, so I'm hope, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, this is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic book. Um, I read it over the course of quite some time, and I'm really glad I did because I was able to really take everything in. Um, but not to give too much away because I think this is a really great book to go in, uh, to go in reading, go into the reading process, go in reading without knowing too much. But basically it follows a family f who has moved from Bangladesh to Brooklyn, New York. And it's about two daughters um, who are actually cousins, and 
parents and it's really 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 fantastic it switches narrative perspectives from a couple different people um, but it starts in the summertime this book very much feels steeped in the summertime um, you meet this family and you meet sort of the main protagonist Ella Ella is a very 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 interesting fantastic fresh wonderful character and um, this book deals with so 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 much so beautifully everything from um, war to gender to sexuality to uh, family to to tradition to religion to so 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 much it's one of the most like intersectional books I've ever read and I really really loved it um, it's definitely not an easy read um, the like the vocabulary the diction isn't difficult but it's it's a it's a tense read, it's an intense read, but I really, really, really liked it and I'm really glad I read it. And then finally, the last book I will not talk about um, because I'm gonna do an entire video about it uh, because it's for the Girl Sex 101 book club, but that is The Miseducation of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danford. Danford. And there should be a video coming out at the end of the month from both myself and Emma from Drinking By My Shelf, who I'm doing the book club with, co-hosting it with, I guess. And she, um, and I both really, really love this book, so you should watch, wait for that video, because we're going to announce the next book, and it's going to be great. Um, and then I read a couple of graphic novels, but they were both continuations of series, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you've been reading. Let me know if you have thoughts on the books that I talked about. Talk to me, people. I'm all alone this weekend, because everyone went home for Easter, and I didn't. Oh, bye. Okay, alright. Bye!